I think we've all been frustrated at least once from the official Minecraft launcher. But there is something that few realize is that other solutions exist, many other solutions. So it can also be quite confusing to find the right launcher. You've probably heard of the most famous launchers. First we have CurseForge, but it only supports Forge mods. Then there also is the GD launcher, but it doesn't have support for Quilt. Then there is MultiMC or Prism launcher to be able to download mods within the app and as an even more powerful launcher there is the AT launcher which can do a lot of stuff but these last three have in my opinion a rather ugly UI. That's when I discovered the last one that you probably never heard of it's the X Minecraft launcher. It has modern UI, it works for Windows, Mac and Linux, you can download mods from CurseForge and Modrinth directly in the launcher, and of course a multi-instance system which is made even better because the resources are all managed on the same folder so there is no need to copy the same mods for each instance as is the case on MultiMC. And there is also a feature that allows you to play with your friends even if they aren't connected to the same Wi-Fi. Otherwise some disadvantages of the launcher are that for now you can't automatically update the mods of an instance and that there is a partial support for cracked accounts. That is, you can create a cracked account only if you bought Minecraft, but there is a way to counter the system which I will explain later in the video. Finally, I compared how much power both XMCL and Prism Launcher use up. Due to the way XMCL is coded, it takes up considerably more RAM than Prism and that's something to consider. And at worst, the launcher can also Always be closed during the game. To start off, go to the launcher's official website and download the corresponding version for your platform. App Installer to install it online, App X to install it offline, and Zip for a portable version. I'm gonna use App Installer. Now simply open the file and install the launcher. Now there are three steps to complete the installation process. First, choose your preferred language, then choose where the launcher's files should be stored, like mods, resource packs, and worlds. I'm keeping the default setting. Finally, you can import your existing resources from the default Minecraft folder. Now you can start the launcher. I already have my own instances, but you probably won't have any. If you're not familiar with multi-instancing, it allows you to create instances that each correspond to their own version of Minecraft. Minecraft. For example, one for 1.19 with server-side mods and another which is a mod pack for 1.12. This way you no longer need to always change the mods folder as is the case with the official launcher. Another strong point of X Minecraft launcher is that it uses file shortcuts for resources, so no need to copy the same mods or resource packs and thus use more disk space. Okay, so you can add an instance add an instance linked to a server, import an instance from a folder, or create an instance from a mod pack. If you want to create your own instance, you can select which mod loader to use, as well as other settings. You can also download mods directly from CurseForge or ModRinth. Now, to start the game, the launcher will have to install the necessary libraries. It's possible that Java is not installed, but the launcher has an option to do it automatically too. But to launch the game, you must also add an account. For a premium account, it's easy, just log into your Microsoft account. On the other hand, to play in crack or offline mode, it's more complicated. Recently, the launcher had to remove the possibility to create free accounts for legal reasons, but it also has a feature that allows the use of third-party authentic notification services such as le.b and littleskin.cn. It's up to you which service to choose, personally I feel that littleskin works better. So create an account on their site, then validate it with the code received via email and you'll be able to connect to the launcher. If you want to export your instance, it's totally possible. Press export, choose which files will be exported and a modrinth format modpack will be created. And conversely, to import a modrinth modpack, go to your preferred file, select modpacks, open the folder, and then move the modpack file into this folder. Finally, there's the possibility to play with your friends even if they aren't connected to the same Wi-Fi, because the server will be hosted on your device. It also allows you to transfer Minecraft files. I'll let you discover the rest of the launcher for yourself, and if you want to explore other Minecraft launchers, the video is here.